Hi guys, so we're back with another video and today I'd like to share with you guys Pixie and Roxy's sprays that we use. Now they're dual deriving sprays and we only have three. We don't use them as much as what we used to because they're getting back a wee bit more regularly now because they have longer hair. But we use three for them and they get a wee spray in between bath days and it just kind of freshens them up. You take them out for walks, they get wet, they go in the mud, they've kind of got that wet dog smell so we use the spray in between to help freshen them up. Now Pixie on the other hand requires it a wee bit more just because she has problems with her anal glands just now and she has had them emptied, however, she does get that fishy smell down the back end. So every now and then I have to wipe and clean her back end just with the smell, with a fresh wipe. And I just give her kind of back end a wee scoop of the spray just to kind of take the fishiness away. It's a horrible smell and I don't know why, like she's not scooping her rubber across the floor or anything but it's, oh it's potent and it's horrible so a wee freshen up down below and a wee spray or something goes a long way for her. So as I said we only have three, now we've got two different brands. The first one we've got is from Nuti. And this is a daily spritz, condition, conditions and moisturises and it's a long lasting fragrance and it's Japanese cherry blossom. Now this is my absolute favourite. So before we got all of our Chris Christians and shampoos and stuff, we washed the dogs with the groomer's shampoo and then we would spray them with this while the coat was still wet and then we would blow dry them and it would give them such a nice kind of floral Japanese cherry blossom scent and it was really really nice but now we just use it in between times so big enough bottle we got this from pets at home although you could probably get it anywhere online and it's not tested on animals paraben free safe to use on caps as well. So it conditions and moisturises. So it's a very nice scent. It's made in the USA. Now, I've not used this one in a long time just because we are using other ones at the moment, but it is a favourite for us. So that is that one. I think that one came in at about seven pounds to eight pounds, something like that. It's, we've had it for some time now. The next ones we have are again really really good and we learned these ones from when we took the dolls to the groomers. They would come out smelling absolutely amazing and I asked the groomers what, what it was that they sprayed on their dogs. Now they told me it was the Arterio, Arte Arte if that's how you pronounce it, I don't exactly know but that is the brand there. Everybody's got different way of pronouncing things. So they used the red one on Pixie first and they showed me the different ones and they told me not to get one because it smelled like a granny's handbag and I thought no no <laughs> I'm not getting that one. So we got this one and we got the purple one. Now these came in about eight to ten pounds. They are quite expensive but the spray is so good. So the purple one is, it just, it doesn't really have a fragrance, it just says perfume. Oh, violet, that's right, sorry. This is the violet one, so this is more kind of floral scent. Yeah, it's more floral type spray. And then this one is our favourite. And if you've ever smelled the guys aftershave one million. This is the absolute double and it smells amazing. Now you only need to spray one or two sprays on your dog and it lasts a couple of days but I could I 
like it sniffed this all day. It's so good. So they are really, really good, expensive, but worth it. And you can spray them on the dog and they can get wet and then you will still smell it. So it's really, really good. It is quite strong if you spray too much. I have sprayed too much on the dogs before and they it kind of just overpowered the dog. So just a wee spray goes a long way. So that's our sprays and we don't use them as much now but we do use them in between times. You know, I, I feel as if the dog doesn't smell that nice. I do use them, you know, if they've got that kind of wet, damp smell, then I would use it. But other than that, that is it. So thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Any suggestions for anything, just leave in a comment down below. And we will see you guys later. Bye.